everyone, it's Amber, and I have a super cute, quick and easy project to share with you today. I took this paper collection that I'm going to show you in a second, and I made a bunch of these fun, like chubby, cute size policy envelopes or coin envelopes, ephemera holders. I don't know what I'm calling them yet, but I'm in love with these. They are such a nice size. I love how they turned out. Um, they measure five and three quarters by six and a quarter. These are so cute to fill up with ephemera and paper samples, embellishments, ribbon samples, seam binding. Um, if you have like washi sample little cards, you can fit so much in here and share with your pen pals and your crafty friends. They're such an adorable size. Okay, so let me show you all the ones I made. I used most of the paper out of this collection. So here's this one, I love it. I think it's my favorite. It has, well actually the one we're gonna make together I think is gonna be my favorite, but I love this journal card. And then this is my favorite print. It's like this quilted kind of collage print. There's the back. And they're all double-sided paper. You don't have to have double-sided paper to make these. In fact, this is probably a great project for single-sided paper if you have it. Um, the inside will just be the white side. So there's that beautiful one. And then the cupcake one. This is another super cute one. This is a vintage style journaling card I put on there. And then this one. And this is actually the other side of that paper. So again, these are so much fun to make. So easy. You're going to make them in seconds. And you're going to want to use all your paper up to make a bunch of these. Wouldn't it be cute to like stack them up and put twine around them and hang a little tag off the twine and give these as a gift to somebody? I think that would be the perfect happy mail to receive. I would love that. Or you can, again, take it and fill it up with goodies. So let's get started on the super easy tutorial. This is the paper collection that I'm using for this project. And it is super pretty. I love the name of it. It's called Cupid's Sweetheart Cafe. And it's by Photoplay. So let me get it out of the package really quick so there's not so bad of a glare. Okay, so let's get started on this flip through. one of these cute little envelopes they're like you can call them coin envelopes policy envelopes just whatever you want ephemera pockets anything you want but to make one of these cute things you will need a piece of scrapbook paper that measures 8 by 12 so I'm going to show you how to cut that down starting with a 12 by 12 sheet so you're going to put this in your trimmer to where the top is at the left and you're gonna trim this down to eight inches. So if you have a direction on your page, make sure top is on the left-hand side. And then just put it in at eight and slice that off. So make sure to save this scrap because you can use it for all kinds of stuff. And that's all the trimming you're gonna do. Here's the piece that you're gonna be using. And again, it measures 12 inches across by eight up and down. So the first score that I'm gonna make is at three and one quarter. So again, the first score line is three and one quarter. Then I'm gonna go all the way down to here and score in at nine inches. So again, it's three and one quarter and nine. Then you're gonna turn it just like this to where now the top of your paper is at the left, bottom is on the right and you're gonna score in one inch. So 
So one inch. And then you're gonna go all the way down to seven and a quarter. And that's gonna be your final score line. Again, that was one inch and seven and one quarter. Okay, so now just take your page and fold on the score lines. So now what we have is these three panels because it's going to essentially be folded up like this. But we need to do some cutting down here and up here. Because we did all those score lines, you have these three strips down here and three strips up here. You don't need these four, so these two and these two. We're going to cut those off, but as I've shown you on my channel before, you're going to cut them off coming from this panel where it folds here, you're gonna meet that fold at an angle, just like that. And then you're gonna just cut this, follow that score line, and cut this panel completely off. So I'll show you what that looks like. See how it's at a slight angle? You met this score line here at an angle. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, start, in the middle panel and do a little triangle and meet that corner. So that's the corner right there that we met. And then again, just cut off that entire panel. So what you did is you just cut off these two, but you took a little wedge out of the middle too. And it's gonna become much more of a clean closure that way because we did that. So let me do the same exact thing to the top. Okay, so now we have all of our cutting done and it is so easy from here. So all you do is just close these up. So this is gonna overlap one quarter inch and so you only wanna put a quarter inch of adhesive right here. So now just close that up and press it down and you've almost got this all done. It's so easy, right? So now this is the bottom and this part is the top because it's bigger. So on the bottom, I'm just going to add some more adhesive. And then just close that up. And for this, I like to take the bone folder and really press it down so that way it's nice and closed and glued down so now our envelope is basically done isn't it super cute didn't it come together so fast it's, these are so easy and very addicting to make so now you know me I like my little notch and I pulled out this two inch scallop circle so I'm just gonna stick this in a little ways so that way if something's in there there's a little notch to pull it out okay so as you saw in my other ones I'm using just a three by four journal card to decorate the front and I think these are just so 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 cute so I'm just gonna add that on there I think this turned out so adorable. I love it and you can fill it up with all kinds of stuff. I just wanna make a bunch more and like bundle them up in some twine or something and give them as a gift to one of my pen pals. Um, it's always fun to receive happy mail and I for one would love to receive a bundle of these. I hope that you all enjoyed this project. It was super fun, quick, and easy, and I hope that you'll go out and get some of the paper in your stash that you've been meaning to use and make a bunch of these fun little pouches. So again, I don't know what I'm calling them yet, but I'm sure we have figured it out by the time this video is out. So there's the ones I made. Here's the one we made together. I cannot wait to make some more of these. 
And stay tuned because in one of the next few videos, these are going to make a reappearance and you're going to see how I fill some of these up for Happy Mail. So I hope that you will try this out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will consider sticking around here and subscribing if you aren't already. I appreciate you all so much and I can't wait to share my next project with you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!